Francisco, that everyone from CashBorder.com, because only makes you more excited. On today's video, I'll be going over the cheapest ways to play Anthem, because this right here shouldn't be getting your $60. Thank you for joining me. If you like what you're seeing, please make sure you give it a little bit to the like and subscribe button down below. If you have any questions, tips, comments, post them in the comment section now. Anthem just completed their two demo weekends. First, the VIP, which wasn't really VIP, and the demo access this last weekend. And it's set to release in a couple of weeks for everybody. Uh, quick impressions. Seems okay fun. Uh, I still have a void that has not been filled from the old Destiny days. So I was really, I was actually really looking forward to Anthem. It seemed kind of repetitive. And when I was playing, everybody had the exact same javelin look exactly the same. So hopefully customization will be different. But that being said, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon here. Everyone's been talking about this damn image. It's even on knowyourmeme.com for God's sakes. So, I think that things like this don't deserve your $60, much less $80 for the Legend, Legion of Dawn pre-order edition. So, what if we actually wanted to play the game? Because, I'm not saying the game is crap, because it's just a limited demo that I played. And I, do, I still want to give it a shot, but... These types of practices don't deserve my or your $60. So how do we do this? How do we play this game for the cheapest way possible? Well, depends on your platform of choice. If you are on Xbox One, the cheapest way will be to sign up for EA Access. Yes, EA Access is something that I've been subscribed to for quite a while now. I do believe that at the yearly subscription, it's a good value. But even if, let's say for this, for the sake of argument, all you want to do is play Anthem. Well... Sign up for a one month subscription. It'll cost you five bucks. You'll get access to some of these newer games that EA has released. Not all of them great, some of them clunkers. But this will allow you to play a trial of Anthem. A 10 hour trial. And this is the full game. Achievements unlock. Everything works. There's nothing limited. You get to play the full game for 10 hours starting February 15th. Now, if you want to get online with the most amount of people, you'll wait until the full game releases on February 22nd. It's freaking ridiculous that this happens. That somebody can pay five bucks and we can play the game a week early versus everybody else having to wait until February 22nd, especially if they don't have good internet access. But yes, through an Xbox One, the cheapest way is to get a trial of EA, uh, EA access. Not a trial, I should say. Just get a month of EA access for five bucks. And in the event that the game does really satisfy you, I mean, 10 hours is a long time. And I highly doubt that if the game does have a campaign like Destiny 2, that the campaign would last more than 10 hours, that there'd be some content that is so amazing that it would take you longer than 10 hours to really realize that you want to keep playing this. But... If that is the case, guess what? Then you get 10% off the game if you purchase it through there. Uh, this will apply to... This might be the cheapest way for you to get it afterwards if you really decide you love the game. If you don't have Gamers Club unlocked. But me personally, because I have my EAX uh, account good until November, thanks to Microsoft Rewards, I will be playing Anthem for 10 hours. Probably around that date. I'm actually going to Vegas around that time. Uh, next, if you ha you're on PC, you have two choices. You can do Origin Access Basic, which is the PC equivalent of EA Access. Four nine nine a month or twenty nine 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 a year. If you do that, then you will get the ten hour trial of Anthem starting on February fifteenth as well. Or if you want to pony up fifteen bucks, you will get the premier version of Origin Access, which will allow you to play the full game, so the entirety of it. <clears throat> No limits, you can play as long as you want. So in this case, if you have a PC and you really if you have a if you have a really, really good feeling about Anthem and you really think that this is your your next destiny or uh shoot. Uh Call of Duty, whatever the heck. Then Origin Access Premier would be your choice because that way you pay only 15 bucks. You can grind the hell out of the game if you want. Run it to the ground. Play it straight starting February 15th. And then be done with it. Throw it out like a freaking piece of garbage. Or play other games until, you're, until your one month is over because there are quite a few games including Battlefield 5. 
and then cancel. Then you're done. They got 15 bucks out of your money. Tops. If you have a really good feeling about Anthem or if you love the demo for some reason more than I did, that's where you go. So those are your two options for PC. Now what if you have PS4? Ah, well, unfortunately, there's only one choice for you, my friends. Redbox. Yes, Redbox. You will text games to 727272. Granted, it only applies in the United States. They will send you <laughs> a free game night if you haven't already. Uh, if you do it this week, I believe they'll send you one that's good until the end of the month. Or you send them the text and you just wait patiently until you receive it. You will have to wait until February 22nd to start playing the game and hope you find that at a Redbox location near you. But if you're on PS4, there is no EA access, so that is the cheapest way you can do it without giving them your 60 bucks. Again, I really don't recommend you giving them your 60 bucks. Or hell, if you don't want, if you really want to play Anthem on your PS4 and you don't want to wait or you don't get this code from Redbox before the 22nd, Okay, go to your look, look up the download the Redbox app. Look at it early on one morning. Try to find a kiosk that has it. Go pick it up early in the morning because you don't have to return the game until the next night at 9 p.m. Grind the hell out of it and then decide if you're going to keep it or not. And if you are, well, then look it up online and purchase it then. So there you go. Those are my those are my opinions on some of the game but those are the cheapest ways you can play Anthem without giving them your 60 bucks again I do not believe at this juncture that it deserves your $60 there have been other games in the past like The Division that didn't start off very well but ended up growing into much better games from what I've heard I wasn't really a big fan of The Division so if that happens to Anthem well then That'd be great. And the good thing is, if that doesn't end up happening to Anthem, you will have played for almost nothing at the beginning. You'll stop. And I guarantee you that if that is the case, the price of entry later on will be much, much lower. And here's hoping that eventually it just shows up on straight up EA Access for us on Xbox One or Origin Access Basic on the PC. So that way we can just play to our heart's content without having to pay any extra money. But EA, stop doing this type of crap. It's it's ridiculous. Segregating these releases is just nuts. And it will inevitably give people an advantage over those who cannot or really do not want to pay digitally for a subscription. Because I'll, I can start playing it on February 15th. And if someone doesn't have EA access on Xbox One or they just want to get the game the old-fashioned old way via a disc and not pay the trial... They're going to be behind me if I really want to just keep the game. So there you go. Stop it. Don't give them your 60 bucks. I know this will add to their user count at the beginning, but they will not get my 60 bucks, and I hope they don't get yours either. Thank you for... <laughs> so that is it. Stick it to the man. So that will be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Go out there, play some games, make some money, spend some money, save some money. Don't get boned. Get boning.